Hello, this is Steven, and uh, today I'd like to cover some of the new features in Blue 2.4.0. Uh, the first thing I'd like to show is the new Clojure sound object. Uh, Clojure is a Lisp language that's uh, built on top of the Java Virtual Machine, and uh, code for Lisp uh, or Clojure looks like this, where there's it's commonly known for having a lot of parentheses. So to add a new closure sound object, you just right click on the timeline and choose add new closure object. Uh, the version of closure that's uh, included with blue is version 1.4.0. Now, because this closure sound object is embedded with blue, uh, it means that when you code your uh, closure code in, in blue, uh, your project is going to be portable across other installations of Blue, and no matter what platform you're running on. Um, so the Clojure sound object, uh, you can see here, has a nice text editor. Uh, it does have parentheses matching and syntax highlighting. Um, in general, for most of the script objects in Blue, there's a general practice to uh, define your composing functions early on in the top layers of the project and then elsewhere within the project actually call those functions. So for, for this example, uh, closure sound object blue, which comes with blue in the uh, blue examples sound objects folder, uh, you'll see that the composing functions object here uh, has a function defined for arpeggiation. Now this function is being used in multiple places uh, and is used for different pitches and different lengths of no notes to arpeggiate and different durations of notes. So let's just hear that real quick. Yeah, so that's a small example of the uh, closure sound object. Uh, you can also see one other note here. Um, like the Python object, it has an option for process on load. What that means is when this blue project loads, it's going to, going to go ahead and pre-run these scripts. Uh, that's useful if you're working on a very long project and you have your composing functions at the beginning of the project but then let's say you immediately start rendering from, from you know, B20 here. Um, normally, if the object is uh, before the, ti the time pointer, it won't get rendered at all um, as an optimization. But having the uh, process unload on that sound object means that th th those scripts there are going to be ready to use right when the project, project opens. Uh, another example that comes with blue in the examples general folder is this one called closure piano phase. And uh, this is really just a translation of the reich.cm example file from common music uh, 2.10.0. Uh, it was originally by Heinrich Taub. Uh, the only thing I did here was just translate it into uh, straight closure code. Uh, and if you compare this to the original, you'll see it's it's pretty similar, though there are some things here that I had to uh, modify uh, to accommodate the things that Common Music provides and are not provided by default within a general programming language. So we can hear just a little bit of this example. Right, so one of the other features I wanted to show for uh, for Blue um, 2.4.0 is uh, navigating through the uh, to the score using the score navigator. The score navigator is located right here, 
on the bottom right of the main score area. It's a little magnifying glass and when you click on it, the little navigator will show up. And it's a sort of uh, overall view of the entire score. Um, previous versions of Blue um, had used a method where it would render the score timeline as is in a sort of miniature form here, but that proved to be <clears throat> the source of some other bugs and in recent builds was uh, altogether buggy. So the new release uses a much more optimized, very simple version of rendering the score timeline and uh, it, it's proven to be much faster and smoother than previous releases. Uh, the final thing I wanted to show was just some of these new examples that were contributed by Menno Knevel. Um, they are three examples of integrating Athena CL, um, a sort of algorithmic composition programming language and system uh, created by Christopher Ariza. And um, these are ways, these, these are examples of ways to integrate uh, Athena code uh, as sort of sound objects within Blue by using the external sound object. Now this system involves uh, calling this Athena pipe.py Python file and um, it has some code that will wrap all of this and uh, will take in this input and run it with Athena CL and then generate scores and return that back to uh, Blue. Um, Menno has done some really great uh, comments as to what all the values mean in the, com uh, in the these comments on objects. And um, yeah, I just wanted to just play uh, one of these. Yeah, and there's uh, three different examples of these. Um, they all use slightly different scripts. And uh, here's another one. Now these examples um, do require that Athena dot, Athena pipe dot pi, uh, be in the same folder as the blue project, and you'll find that it's the case with the uh, within the examples uh, sound objects folder. And uh, this does require that Python is installed on the system because this is using the system installed version of Python, not the version embedded within Blue. Also, the, uh, these examples do require that Athena CL be installed, which uh, makes sense. Okay, um, that's all I wanted to do, cover for this release. Uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, explore some of these new features. Thanks.